Oh, look. What is this? <gasps> is this what I think it is? What is it? Oh. So, uh, recently I have volunteered to participate uh, at the Ashes to Art project. The Ashes to Art project is to raise funds for the Colorado uh, volunteer fire departments to raise funds for them uh, by auctioning uh, art uh, online. And uh, uh, as you all know, um, in 2020, not only uh, the pandemic, um, but also the devastating fires uh, across Colorado, North Colorado, um, so, uh, my dear friend, uh, Michael O'Hara, um, introduced this project to me. Uh, it's his brother, Tim O'Hara, and a group of volunteers, um, started this project in 2012. And I am honoured to be part of this project this year. Um, and the idea is that to, um, uh, take a piece of, uh, burned wood from the forest, um, a piece of charcoal, and make it into a piece of art. That's why it's called Ashes to Art. My idea is to grind the charcoal into uh, ashes and blend that uh, into my ink and I use that ink to create a blooming peony. Um, out of the dark ground. So peonies represent, um, peonies represent prosperities. So uh, my, I, my concept is that um, there is life after ashes, uh, prosperities after devastation. So let's unbox. Look, these were trees in the forest. Imagine them blooming, all green and beautiful, full of life. Now it's a piece of charcoal, all because of the All because of the fire. It's my mission to bring them life again. Let's get dirty.
I've done it. Uh, time for the big review. It's not dry yet, but let's have a look. This is pigments, ink, and ashes on silk. 